Hello fellow 3D enthusiast. So today I'm going to be doing a beginner tutorial on object mode. So object mode is what you're in by default as soon as you open Blender. So there's not a whole lot you need to do to get there. If you find yourself in a different mode, you can use tab or this menu up here and click object mode and you'll be back there. So object mode is good for selecting objects and moving them around. You can select objects by just left clicking on them. I'm just going to throw in some groundworks here about navigation. If you want to orbit around, you can use the middle mouse button. And if you want to pan around, you can use shift and then the middle mouse button. And if you want to zoom in, scroll in, zoom out, scroll out. So there you go, there's the crash course. Other things you can do in object mode. Add in an object. Shift A. Let's add in a cone. To move this cone outside of the box that it ended up placing in, you can use these arrows. Let's add another object. Remember Shift A and add in a monkey head. So there's another object for you. Once again, you can move it around if you want with these. Or if you want to rotate it, you can go to these arrows here on the sidebar and rotate it around. If you want to rotate it like crazy, you can click in the center and just go nuts. One more feature here, scaling up. You can grab these little nubs here and it will scale on the axis that you pick. So if I wanted to scale it on the green Y axis, click the Y. Woo! Alright, now we have a giant monkey head, a cube, and a cone. If you want to move it around and scale it around and rotate it around at the same time, you can click this button here and you have all the things you need to do just that. If you want to select stuff, you can use this and do a drag and drop select and select everything you need. Also, there's this thing here, looks like a target. You can use that to place the 3D cursor around. You can do that just by clicking when you're in that mode. The 3D cursor is where objects end up when you add them in. So if I add in an object here, say a circle, it drops it right in there. Another handy feature for navigation is numpad period. It'll zoom in on whatever object you have selected so you can see it better. So that's pretty much object mode. Once again, there's a whole lot of objects you can add in. Maybe I'll do some tutorials on that later, but that's the basics. So I hope you learned something helpful from this, and I'll see you tomorrow in a tutorial for edit mode. Cheers!